So, welcome back, and the, uh, obviously the Log4j thing rumbles on. One of the, um, one of the, the things that was suggested, uh, when I put my other video up, by one of the, the people that watched it, was that possibly we look at building a, a threat, um, dashboard for the ACC, and I thought that would make just a, a sort of a good, a good quick video, um, and it's, it's a good idea, it's a very good idea, because the ACC is obviously where we should be looking uh, sort of day-to-day -day, you, you, sort of as when you log on the firewall, one of the first places you can go to to get a lot of information um, is the ACC. So it would make sense then that we we create a, a potentially a default view um, whilst this is, is a massive issue. Uh, I also don't think it's going to stop being an issue anytime soon as we know there's there's now several more um, CVEs as a result of, of the initial one and then also of course following on um, unfortunately from, from one of the patches that came out which although was a lot lower um, I, think, I believe it was 3.7 CVSS score um, leads to a denial of service attack I mean, it, it is something that somebody would then sort of, you know, you can't gain a reverse shell, but what you can do then is um, is DDoS your target. So, in the ACC, which is here, we want to add a tab at the top, and our tab at the top is going to be called... So, we're going to add a widget to this. And I think one of the first things we're going to add is threat activity. I think we need a source IP. Um, possibly block threat. Um, blocked application activity. Well, should we have on there? So that. Okay, so in our workspace there, we can customize that as well. And in a widget group, I'm gonna make that two column. Add a widget group. Um, if we put our threat activity in there, source IP activity, Make that two column and then we'll have block threats at the top. Okay, so we've got our block threats, blocks application activity, block threats, threat activity, and source IP activity. Okay, so we click on that. And then once we see within the last hour, we'll see these start to uh, start to populate or not as the case may be because clearly in the last hour I've been okay uh, this is my obviously to show you that data is coming through uh, let's spread this back to the last six hours see what we get there I think I've done okay for threats it looks I seem to be um, storming on so to speak okay no data to display. I'm struggling a little with that, if I'm honest. Let's see if we've got anything on URLs. We do have something. Uh, and the just the SSL. Okay, so we know that we've got some SSL that's been blocked in the last six hours. But what we really want to concentrate on, of course, is the log4j activity which I've, I've not had any um, so we're going to edit this and then once we once we've created it once we come and then we come back to it we can edit the custom tab and so we can see the first one is to set a tab as default so when you open ACC obviously that tab comes up by default that may be something you want to do I guess at the minute it um, We'll, we'll do it here, which means you can see now that it's been reordered. So we've got log for activity and then threat activity and network activity, um, as it would be. Uh, you can sort of easily go back and change to 
whatever you want to do, revert to default or set as default. Okay, so that's now the default one that we've got there. And what we want to do as well is we want to start to sort of, uh, we want to filter in on what we're actually looking for because we've got threat activity and network activity and blocked activity at the top, but this is specifically for what we want. So what we can do is we can set a tab uh, filter. And in the tab filter, we can go for the threat and the threat name. And here we'll add our, our threat names or threat IDs as they are. So we have 91991. If you give it a minute and then we've got that. I'll just add the others. Uh, See that it populates them just slightly afterwards. 905. No, I don't think I want you to do that. Why are you doing that? I don't want you to do that. 91995. Okay, all good. Uh, and then, of course, there was another one that came out, which was the 92001. And then we apply that to our, our view. Now, we can export the tab state or we can, uh, we can save it. Um, but for now, we're just going to OK. And then we can see that we've got four filters in the um, in the in the views that we've got here. So you would let's just uh, come out of this. Wow, I really need a bigger firewall. And then if I go back into the AC, you can see now my default view is log for activity. Go to threat activity. I can change the the time timestamp and then if we go back obviously the timestamp remains the same but I've still got the four filters we can uh, we can change it again so we can set the tab filters uh, so we have uh, threat uh, threat type vulnerability as well okay so now you can see so you've now got five filters on all of these which are the the um the vulnerability uh, threat type so it's looking for a threat type of vulnerability uh, if we wanted to remove that from the global filter like that we'd then remove it from the global filter and if we wanted to just filter locally. So for threat activity, we wanted to look for, say, vulnerability activity. You would then put it just in there. You can see the other still on four, four, and this one's five because now it has a local filter. So it's the same as as using this. So if you if you think about editing the the view or the tab, as editing the global filter, and you think about the um, the local ones and then that's a saved um for that's the so local filter to that particular tab and then we'll save the tab state uh additionally as well if you wanted then to export this to be used somewhere else or or something like that or you just wanted to know what it was you can actually you can export it and so that you'll see the the tab there, the tab configuration, um, and then you could import it to other devices. Um, but that's it, really. That's sort of how we'd create a. Um, that's how we'd create an ACC dashboard for Log4j, and say obviously you know you come out and go back into it, then it will come back, and that will be the default thing. And I would suggest, I mean, that's probably the best thing to do um, for a brief spell, because at least then when you 
and you go to the ACC, you know that you're going to initially see um, the, the, any information that's been brought up, and hopefully um, yours will look uh, exactly like this one, because there'll be no data to display, meaning all is well. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll stick with the, the Log4j thing. I say, please like and subscribe. It does help. Um, the response to my last video was, was huge, and I'm really quite happy about that. Uh, and any suggestions for any other videos or, or any tutorials that you might want or something like that, just just put in the comments below um, because it all it all helps. The more we the more we understand, the more we learn, the easier it is to uh, to secure different environments.